always had like a meteorite or, or an asteroid come out of the sky and hit Fred's windshield. The brand new windshield just got smashed to bits like 15 minutes ago. So I'm really upset about it. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. So this is episode six i guess of or no day six for us of hot rod power tour so we're heading home i was going to do a nice little intro in the truck on the way down as we're cruising down the interstate and then there was a little change of plans so we're like an hour south of our hotel and uh that dang meteorite fell out of the sky creamed the windshield i'll show it to you here in a second it's unbelievable thankfully my wife was kind of leaned over and uh reading kind of lounging back as we we're cruising along had her blanket on because this air conditioning is like icebox mode so that's pretty awesome otherwise she would have had glass like all over her chest maybe got some in her face but hopefully that wouldn't have happened but regardless it didn't happen so we're all good but we're gonna need a new windshield so i'm gonna have to get in touch with old Haggerty when i get home and get that all taken care of uh, she went inside go shake out the blanket all that good stuff but fortunately there was a tractor supply right here off the interstate so we were able to uh, take care of that so let me show you what happened let me bring you around so here's a good view of the inside it actually blew out the inner pane like blew it all out to bits it's crazy poof it sounded like a gunshot going off it was wild i'll take you around the outside here check out the outside oh big old hole there hit here too pretty wild sounded like a gunshot but my poor sticker so i'm gonna reach out put a little post on the hot rod power to our facebook page and see what they can do see if someone can help us out with a sticker because man i worked so hard for that sticker i don't want to lose it so we'll see you on the road i guess but just wanted to fill you in on this madness it was crazy that thing sounded like a bomb going off i actually thought like a piston came out of the out of the hood and thing blew up but it was just that so Get with the insurance company, we'll take care of it, and this is what it is, we'll just move on. As long as nobody got hurt, we're good. We'll see you on the road. Well, for some reason, the AC belt came a little close I don't know why but I do have a spare belt I have a second belt but I'm just tighten it up because we're not driving home we still got like three and a half hours left and uh, after a smashed windshield it's really hot out Fred's doing great and we really need air so a little roadside belt tightening I hope I don't have to uh, change the belt before we get home, but, oh, it's hot. Get this good and tight. We should be good. miles pretty much trouble free the only thing that gave us grief was of course the front suspension because the alignment shop evidently didn't tighten the uh, nuts up on the control arms so that became an issue and then the heat up in Columbus seemed to have gotten either the fuel pump or the fuel pump relay while we were waiting in traffic not sure which one but I got a couple ideas on that we'll talk about that in a few but I'm gonna get in before it like lightnings on me and shoots me or whatever that we just drove through the monsoons it looks like another cell's coming in but i want to go inside and i want to chat a little bit just about my thoughts on power tour what an amazing time we had uh we met so many amazing people um uh, it was just fantastic it was a fantastic event and a lot of people were you know chiming in about stuff and i want to talk about that real quick and then i want to talk about fred things moving forward after this 2000 mile shakedown with fred so let's go inside and uh, we'll chat about that real quick before we close out the video. So it's a couple days later. 
we were going to film, like I wanted to do this part, but it was raining so much and thunder and lightning all, all that jazz. So I figured just wait till the weather cleared up. Now it's beautiful out. It's like 9 million degrees. It's fine. It's like a beautiful sunny day down here in, in lower Alabama. But a couple things with Fred. So when we were going up into the Z-Max up in Charlotte, it overheated the fuel pump or the fuel pump relay. Not quite sure. That fuel pump relay was so hot that you could like couldn't even touch it. But I don't know if the fuel pump kicked out or if it was the relay that actually opened up. But after that, it had died three twice, one twice, and then we got into the venue. Um, and after that, it never gave us another issue. So before I take old Fred, Fred's parked over here, on another trip, I'm gonna change the fuel pump and put an in-tank fuel pump in. Get rid of the frame-mounted fuel pump. That'll help alleviate any kind of overheating of the pump itself. And I'm also gonna move the fuel pump relay to inside the truck to where it's air conditioned to maybe help get it out of the engine bay and help uh, help keep that thing cool so it doesn't kick on us that was really the only issue that we had i mean outside of the the old uh, control arm thing which the garage is going to take care of that so i got to drop that off here this week so they can realign the front end and uh, hopefully have a good talk with the employee that did it but those were the only real hiccups we had i mean fred Ran great. We ended up, so did some tuning and I'm, I've still been playing with the timing a little bit. We ended up with like 13 miles to the gallon, 12 and a half, 13 miles to the gallon. And I think if I keep fussing with the tune a little bit, we, we can improve on that. I mean, if we can stay at like 14, that'd be pretty amazing for that old truck. So I think we'll be good. And then the next things for Fred is I got to work on the brakes. I want to put new brakes on it and stuff, but Fred's going to take a back seat for now. We got to get old Susie ready in less than two weeks. We're going on a trip out of state and we plan on taking old Susie B here. So I need to get Susie B all ship shape and ready. So Fred, take a back seat for a while. We're gonna hop on old Susie and uh, so we can get this rig set for our road trip. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was, was the tour itself. So the tour was amazing. So we had a hell of a time. We met so many great people. The parking lot parties were, were amazing. They're so much fun and you could just grab your chair, hang out. So if you haven't done power tour, God, I highly recommend it. If, if, if you enjoy hanging out with people, having a good time, it's the place to be. The, the journey and seeing all the kids on the side of the road was excited about getting Hot Wheels, Matchbox cars, all that stuff. It was so much fun. And then seeing the little towns, like we found this killer little diner up there near Albemarle, North Carolina. Absolutely love that. Stuff like that. Next year, we're considering, is it worth doing the Platinum? package? I don't know how fast you got to be, like Johnny on the spot, the second it's released to get that. But looking at the numbers, does it make sense when you look at the cost of the hotel rooms? And I'm going to look into it. I'm not sure because I figure we spent probably like $1,200 on hotel rooms and all through the trip. And I'm not sure what that platinum package is, but with a few hundred dollars extra and then you get some meals and some other benefits with the lounge, all that jazz, might be worth it maybe. Start saving now and then just dump on that platinum. I'm not sure, but... All in all, I mean, if you camp out, it could be a super cheap, cheap trip. Bring your own food. We brought our grill. We grilled out and had a good time, so we didn't spend a fortune on food. And we really enjoyed it. So if you're thinking about doing it, highly recommend it. Awesome people all around. Some people were complaining about the lines, but the way I see it is they've got like, I don't know, five, six, seven thousand 7,000 people coming in. Uh, cars, not necessarily people, more people than that. Plus all the, the uh, folks that are coming to see it. I think, I think they did a great job. To putting on what they put on me personally that's a lot of cars to try to funnel in get everybody in where they need to be they've got to break it down late at night get it back the next morning so i think they did a great job so kudos to the crew i know a lot of people were complaining about it there's no complaints from me i understand what the situation is and, and i think everybody did a great job and all around it was really good so that's all i really want to say just kind of wanted to touch on that because so many people were, were complaining about the lines but I personally think everybody did a great job and there's a ton of people and it is what it is. So we're going to leave that there. So now we're going to go grab Fred. We're probably going to do this tomorrow afternoon. We're going to take it over to my buddy Tommy's place. And uh, one of his buddies is a local glass guy that, uh, that I'm going to meet. Only talk to him on the phone. And he's going to fix Fred's broken windshield. His, get his eyeball fixed. So I'll meet you over there in just a second. We're going to head there. It'll probably be tomorrow, but we're going to get uh, Fred all, all repaired. So thanks. We'll see you there. Hey, kid, the glass is really clear now. What do you think? Yeah. 
You finally cleaned it well. <laughs> yeah, no more glass on your lap, right? We got the professional. <laughs> Time for a new windshield. The windshield's never been that clean. Look at it. Beautiful. Awesome. Make it short work of it. Pace it over. Chris is the man. <laughs> Max Auto Glass. If you're in Baldwin County, Alabama, he's the man. Look at this. Look. Look at it. It's like brand new. And look what he did. He's a magician. We've got our stickers. Even the old long hauler sticker. Super cool. Awesome. So pretty sight. We got a new windshield. We're good to go. Ready to hit the road. Awesome. Thanks to Chris. All right. We'll catch you guys later. Man, look at that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Just brought Fred home from my buddy Tommy's house. We had left it there the other night. We stayed kind of late. We took one car home. So we got Fred back home. Can't thank Chris enough. He did an awesome job. Awesome guy. Miracle working with those stickers is crazy. He did a fantastic job like it never even happened. So now we're going to have an extra sticker because the gentleman sending us down a sticker because of the post I had made on the Hot Rod Power Tour page. So we'll find someone else that needs it. We'll pay it forward. Send one their way. But we got a new windshield. Fred's back in business. We're ready to rock and roll. Super excited. Thank Chris. Thank all of you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Please subscribe, like, all that stuff. We really appreciate each and every one of you for getting us where we are. We're, you know, we're small, but we're growing, and I really appreciate it. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon. Look for a new video on old Susie here in the next few days. We're getting Susie ready for this road trip. So got a little video of stitching that back together getting it road ready. Look for that. Appreciate y'all. Y'all take care. See you soon. Bye.